Hmm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Arkham Horror. We are doing really, really well in this game. We have one, two, three, four, five gates out. We're just waiting for the sixth gate. We've, we've been extremely lucky with the gate openings. We've only got three Doom tokens on the track because almost every go gate we've closed with a Elder Sign. And so we've been taking them off. And we've covered some of... The, we've got the Witch House, the Black Cave, and the Unvisited Isle, and the Unnameable all covered. They're all really high frequency gates. The only super high frequency gate we haven't done is woods. And what that means is we've been opening gates on the uh, on the Elder Sign. So we haven't been getting monsters, we haven't been getting uh, Doom tokens. And before then we had like three cards in a row or something at the Black Cave. So, and because we were just killing monsters, it, we just spent about three turns doing nothing but killing monsters we actually didn't even get massively uh surged with the the terror track so we've been doing very very well the problem is because i've been sort of moving the cards around so much i've kind of forgotten who has what <laughs> but hopefully uh i'll be able to get this going it is caroline's turn i think this is a single round so we started with Mandy right so this is the last round okay so let's uh, for starters she has the blessing so we'll roll for her blessing hopefully we are not going to get that. okay three and it's on a one we discard so we'll, that's fine now she has voice of Ra and what has she got here she's got one two three four five six seven eight nine tokens now what that means is she's going to have 10 tokens pretty soon so she's going to be able to buy uh ally or she can maybe even get the deputy of arkham which i never really do i might do that just for fun she is a good one to actually get the deputy of arkham because she can just spend her rest of the game zapping around the board uh healing people's stamina uh sanity uh yeah. Maybe I'll do that. She'll go kill... Why don't, why don't we kill this? And then we'll do that. And that'll give her 10. Okay, so she needs one movement to get in there. And... She may as well just go... One, two... Give her a bit of extra sneak, just in case. Now, I don't think we need to spend sanity with Voice of Ra for this. Actually, we do have this tome. Law minus one check. What's her law? Five. Yeah, so what I'll... Oh, she gets one sanity during her upkeep because of psychology ability as well. So we'll actually leave that as three. She's only used one movement point. So she's going to spend the other two movement points to do this tome. So that is a law minus one check. She is blessed. So that's four die. You blamo. Nice. So this is a pass. This gets her one spell. Curse of Azeroth. Nice. Okay. So now she's going to do the will check, which is a will minus one. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah. And she loses a sanity. Will minus one. She'll just lose that sanity straight up. And that gives her... Now she has to attack. So we just automatically fail the sanity. And now we're attacking. We have fight of four, and we're going to use the sword of... Oh, actually, do we want to use the sword? What have we got here? Yeah, we're going to use the sword of glory, so that's another six. So that takes it to ten, and it's got a modifier of zero. So, boom, we need one hit. Uh, 
And that's it. Absolutely destroyed. And now she has her 10 tokens. Beautiful. Okay, Mandy. What have you got for us, Mandy? Uh, where are you at? Okay, so... Because no monsters opened last turn, we've got no monsters to kill. There's really nothing to do. We, we kind of... We just need to sort of share everything around. Basically... We want to get uh, Gloria into the Mysotonic University. So she, does she have any weapons at the moment? She's got Wither and Shivling. So we want to get her some weapons. She doesn't really have anything to get her to anything really of use here. So what I might do with her is I'm just going to send her to the magic shop. Actually, I'm going to send her one, two, three to the administration. Let's just farm some money. There's a lot of good... So she is at the administration, so we're going to go one, two with her. Actually, we're going to go one law and put her will down one. Because a lot of administration uh, things, they give you money, but they also require law because you're doing sciencey stuff at the university and uh, you often need will because you find out scary stuff. Okay, Gloria. Now, so she's going to move down start moving into the center of the board so she can get anywhere in one turn. And who has the motorcycles right now? We've got a motorcycle at the doctor. He's up here. He's also got the heel. Oh, no, that's not the doctor. That's uh, Harvey. I don't know where the other motorcycle is. We have two motorcycles. Oh, here it is. The motorcycle is down here with Caroline. Okay. Yeah, so she's going to go one two, three, oh, actually, probably, yeah, three, four. Does she have four? Yes, yeah, she's got four movement. That's fine. So she's going to go one, two, three, four. Go to the science building. Actually, wait. She's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so she's actually going to go one, two, pick up the motorcycle. And let's take find gate and the gate box. Oh, and she's also got the blessing. So she has to roll for that blessing as well. Oh, she gets a one, so she is no longer blessed. So she's gone one, two. One, two, three, four. Taking the clue. So she's still only used four movement. Uh, who else is there? The this guy. Is there anything we want? Fine gate with a no. We're fine. We're good. We're good. We're all good. Okay, so that's her move. Dexter. He is gonna go one, two, three to the magic shop. He's got no upkeeps. Oh, wait, he's got this thing here. Okay, so he, this was here, right? So he's going to go up. So three plus two is five. So we can actually do this. So it's a law minus two check. So he's got five. So that is three dice. Oh, wait, he's only got two sanity. Okay, so he loses one sanity, he draws two, he draws four clues. One, two, three, four. 
And instead of moving down here, we're actually going to go back up here. Get our sanity back. Okay, Vincent, he's here and he has... He's got a low health. So I think he's going to go one, two, three, four over here. Oh, he's only got three movement. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he's only got four, three movement. That's a bit annoying. So he's going to go one, two, three to the bank of Arkham. He's got no plus speed or anything. He does have the fit automatic, which is nice. The Doc, he's got a ton of stuff. He's got the Healing Stone for starters. And he's also blessed. So that is roll for the blessing. It's a pass and he gets plus one on his sanity because this heals both sanity and stamina. He's also got a motorcycle. I think he's just going to stay where he is though. Why not? Yeah, he's going to stay where he is. Look, there's a lot of activity around here, wasn't there? <laughs> Jenny. Okay, so Jenny has... Okay, so Jenny's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we can't do that, can we? Oh, well, she, first she has to roll for a blessing. Whoa, we almost lost the blessing. Uh, and she's going to stay where she is. She also gets a dollar. And that's the end of that deck. Nice. Amanda, Amanda, what are you going to do? Why don't you go one, two, three, four. Boom. And that's it. Okay, now let's do our, our event phase. So she's in the merchant district. She's at the administration. A student mistakes you for the bursa. If you want to carry on the deception, make a will minus two check. If you pass, gain $8 in ill-gotten tuition money. If you fail, you're arrested and get taken to the police station. Okay, so her will is two, so she gets to roll two dice. She's got nothing here that helps her. We want a success here, would be awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, beautiful. So that is eight bucks, nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you, you block. Okay, Gloria, she is in the graveyard. A monster appears. Okay. Okay, so it's a Mygal. Not too hard. And we do have plenty of gas to destroy this creature. Okay, so it is a Sandy minus one. Her will is two. She is no longer blessed though, which is kind of a bummer. Actually, her will is four. So we get to roll one more dice. Beautiful. Because her will was four, it's minus one. We get to roll three dice. Okay, now we're going to attack back. Uh, we only need one hit. It's got no modifier. She has one fight. I think I'm just going to use Wither. So that is three dice to cast Wither. Okay. 
That's a pass. So she now has four dice because it's one fight plus three. That's got no sanity cost. And we're just going to roll that. We're not going to actually uh, cast Shriveling. Save on the sanity. Oh, that is a fail. We're going to use Mandy's ability to re-roll that. And there's a pass. Your blammo. And because this is a my gal, you actually return it to the box and draw a unique item. Your blam. Oh, and it's the other sign. Beautiful. Okay, so we're ready to. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're ready to finish the game. Nice. Just need a gate to open now. He's at the. Uh, so, oh, he's not actually going to draw from the asylum deck, is he? He's going to. Uh, spend two dollars and get his sanity back. Vincent is at the bank, I believe. You see a richly dressed man making a large withdrawal. On the way out, he lights his cigar with a piece of green paper, which he drops on the ground. Pass a speed minus one check, that is two dice. We don't have any plus speeds. Just stub it out with your toe before it burns up. You discover it to be a slightly singed $2 bill. Okay, we failed that. There's no fail option. Meanwhile, over here, he's at Mars Boarding House still. Ma Mathan tells you the best room in the house is available for the night. If you want to pay $3 to spend the night there, gain four points split between your sanity. Okay, so we don't need that at all. So we're not going to do that. Uh, Jenny is going to actually activate the ability and draw three cards. You know what's interesting here? There's only two cards, so I, I can show you this. I didn't even put this in my video, but... If you keep watching the unique item decks, I'm going to draw three cards, but there's only two cards in the uh, the deck. So I'll go one, two, three, and it should reshuffle and then draw the third one. Nice. Okay, what have you got here? Oh, Dragon's Eye. Oh, no, that's not what it was. It? I thought that was a different spell. What's this? Discard obsidian statue to cancel or stamina or sanity loss being dealt to you from one source. Well, that looks like a bonus to me. Oh, wait, I have to, can I afford it? Yeah, $4. No, no problem. One, two. You blink. Okay, so during the editing, I noticed that when I did Gloria's turn, I actually read from the Black Cave. She's at the graveyard. So we're going to do this turn again so she does not have the elder sign but the interesting thing is we only had three cards in the deck in this deck here so we would have drawn the we were guaranteed to draw the elder sign this turn so what would have happened is i wouldn't have got the obsidian statue that would have gone that would have stayed in the deck and been shuffled and i would have bought the elder sign which costs one extra dollar so that basically fixes that error. Uh, let's give that a shuffle. And we're back to where we were. But I'm also I have to put the Mygo back into the box. And I'll just, just shuffle the monster cup. And now I'm just going to do the graveyard ability here. You find a man painting a picture of one of the horrible gargoyles lining the walls of the graveyard. Seeing you, he introduces himself as Richard Opton Pickman, a painter visiting from Boston. If you spend monster trophies that have a total of five toughness, Pickman takes a liking to you. Take his ally card. We have five toughness. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just have a look at him. Uh, Upton? Was that his name, wasn't it? Upton? What's his name? Upton. Uh, Richard. Maybe he's gone. Oh no, there he is. Plus luck and plus speed. 
and not affected by physical resistance. We're going to take this guy. Richard Pipkin is one of my favorite cards in the Call of Cthulhu card game, by the way. Basically, there's two versions of him. Four cost is actually kind of expensive in Call of Cthulhu, but his ability to just copy and then blank text boxes is super strong and well into the life of uh, the Call of Cthulhu LCG, he was a fantastic syndicate character because, I mean, he was powerful. It was like having a bind constantly on the table. It was so awesome. And he, there's actually another version of him, which is like his Snake Man version, which is uh, a must-include if you're making a ghoul deck. Ghoul decks weren't particularly powerful, but they were pretty awesome as well, just for fun. Now that Call of Cthulhu is like no longer a competitive game, people are just making really fun decks that are just not so much elite, but just awesome. And uh, he's part of the ghoul deck with his snake version. Anyway, whatever. The point is Richard Pickman, the Mad Painter, is a freaking cool character from Call of Cthulhu. So, so that is plus one luck and plus one speed and physical resistance and five trophies. One, two, three, bam. You block. Nice. Oh, wait, hang on. This is an old version of the mod and the <laughs> I can't discard monsters that way yet. Yeah, boom. <laughs> okay, anyway, so that is fixed. So just to recap, basically because we did that wrong, we, we have fixed all that. I put the, the Mygo back in there as well. And I think we're ready to call that uh, adjusted. Okay, Amanda is at the library. You doze off and enter the dreamlands, have an encounter there immediately and then return. Okay, so dreamlands is up here. The obsidian door refuses to open. Pass a fight minus one check or stay here next turn struggling with it. So, hmm. uh, then immediately return. The way I'm going to read this is that I get delayed, but I get delayed at the library. Because this, the other ability here is saying you get delayed, right? But the other card, which sort of supersedes it, says that you automatically return. Oh, look, I could have gotten Sir William Brighton if I was in the, in the, whatever, whatever. Anyway, so it's a fight minus one check. Her fight is three, so she gets two dice. Hopefully we'll just pass it and I won't have to deal with this conundrum. Okay, so we failed. So it says... Or stay here next turn, which usually means be delayed in Outworld. But because of this card, I'm actually going to have her come back and be delayed in... Uh, delayed at the library. Yeah, this is the old token where you had to change its state. It says delayed on it but I just found it a little bit hard to see. That's why I changed it to being grayed out with the symbol instead. And you can also just flip it over now. Okay, that's that. So everyone's taking their turn. Now we need a gate to open, please. Ya blamo. The witch house. The witch house is actually got a seal, so nothing happens. Moon and pluses move, but you know what? There isn't a single monster on the board. <laughs> so that doesn't happen. We get a clue at the Black Cave. And a rusty train arrives in Arkham, disgorging two monsters into the north side streets. So a warlock with his Cathogian bodyguard. Whoa. These guys are very nasty. Four to six, everyone loses stamina and they're three to kill. I think we'll, Jenny will be able to take him out though. Okay, that's that turn. One last thing I forgot is uh, this disturbing the dead thing. 
So this is a very bad rumor. I've got to remember to do this. It is a, a one or two. So we rolled, what is it, roll one dice? Yeah, so we roll one die and we, we just basically don't want a one or a two. Thank you. Whoa, almost, almost rolled a two. Okay, good. So every time we roll a one or a two, we raise the terror level, which sucks. Okay, now we're done. Right, I mean, we've got to get a we've got to get a gate soon, right? This is why they added gate bursts to the game, but the gate burst was a double-edged sword. The gate burst made end game more exciting because the thing about this game is very very difficult. But once you sort of get you know four or so gates out it starts to be a lot easier because the, the the mythos phases aren't as bad because you're not gaining doom tokens and stuff so they added this thing called gate burst which means that even if there's a seal a gate will open but the offshoot of that is that the game literally there's no there's no time limit on the game it can go forever i mean no matter how many gates you seal you could always have the chance of the gate being burst and having to reseal it and that was one of the things that a lot of people dislike about this game, which I don't mind because, I mean, if you're going to play this game, you're going to play this game. I'm happy to play it for a long time, particularly now that I've made this mod and I, don't, I can just save it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you're sort of witnessing why the gate burst was invented in the next expansion. Anyway, that is Arkham Horror, and I will see you guys next time.